Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm doing a video with the hashtag support Hannah Carlson. I'm going to be flipping through all her books and thinking about her and wishing her well during her difficult time. Sending a little couple of prayers to her also. So we're going to go through her books and I'm going to show you the pages that I've colored inside of them. I've got a nice little pile on the side over here. And we're going to start with Daydreams. I believe this is her first book. And we'll just go in and I will show you the pages that I have colored in here. I mean, I got gorgeous pictures. And this is also going to help me figure out which page I want to do again in one of these books. This is my first uh, little snail that I did, this little house here. Um, most of my work will have dist Distress Ink in the backgrounds, a little water spray on them to give them that splatty look. Um, not sure on the pencils. I wasn't going to look them all up. I was starting off with um, Prismas, but these are not Prisma. I believe Oh, it's got a pretty pink. This could be Polly's, but it's a layering pencil. I know that. <laughs> but that's him. He's just adorable. This one I did a Neo 2 background. I've done a couple of those. They're fun, easy. Uh, scribble down the Neos, add water, and have it do its fun stuff. So I followed a tutorial on this one on how to do the background and then just copied it over onto the other side using the same colors and I used some splattering of a dark neo on there with a paintbrush and yeah matched them up put a white acrylic dotted border around him so it's kind of raised it's fun and we have some gold shiny pen on this side probably on that side too Okay, this one I followed a tutorial for the skin here. I'm pretty sure it's a Chris Chen tutorial, but I'm not positive. <coughs> I would have to look that up. Hold on a second. Okay, I double checked and uh, yeah, I did this in Prisma Distress Ink Silver Dual Hybrid with the silver um, around her face. There's a little stickles on the stars and I did follow the tutorial for the skin only by Chris Chen. So that was my first attempt on skin so I had to follow a tutorial because I had no idea how to do any of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that one turned out and then we have this one here. I went through while I was checking and wrote down everything I used on every page. This is a Neo2 background Prismacolors it's a uh, fine liner for the black. I just used a pen to go all the way around there. And then we have diamond stickles on this page if you see it glitter. That's what that was. Okay, and I believe that's it in this book. Okay, that's her first book. Summer Nights. Second book. And we'll see what we did in here. Looks like I did a few more. I did a little star. <laughs> okay, and this one, Prismacolors, uh, Distress Ink, matte metallic, um, or matte black acrylic paint in the background, and then stickles. I like to use stickles in these books. It just makes them really sparkle. <laughs> And I used the uh, bright colors that I had in my Neo, or my Prisma color set. This one is Prisma also with the stickles and acrylic paint. Um, the stickles are all over the flowers and on the butterfly. Just really pretty. Love those paints. The black acrylic is the matte black and then the white is the uh, other acrylic paint on that page. See what else we did in here. Uh, we did this guy over here. This is all done with Prisma. There's a little um, acrylic, not acrylic, uh, stickles on here. So we have diamond stickles 
every which way. There's a little acrylic paint splattered in there, sorry, for the bubbles coming up. And we did this one also all done in um, Prismacolor, black acrylic mat up here. And we have the stickles on these little guys too, especially on this crayon, make it nice and shiny. There are tutorials on most of these, if not all of them. This is done with the black matte uh, acrylic paint in the background here and Prismacolors. We did diamond stickles on that side. We have diamond stickles on here. This one is also done in Prisma and the black metallic. This little guy here, distress ink in the background with little acrylic splatters. He's done with um, the blues in the Prisma color and silver uh, dual metallic pen throughout his little body there. And then I did do the belong to page here. They're little birdies. They're done in um, Prisma. Just dress ink going around and we have stickles on the um, beads. So, well, the little mushroom. But <laughs> This little guy here is also done with the um, Prisma colors. If there's a stencil in the background. It's a honeycomb stencil done with distress ink along with a little distress ink going on in the back, a little white splatter going through him. And that is Summer Nights. And her next book is Seasons. And let's see what we've done in here. Okay, this one I did uh, one year for Christmas. <laughs> We did it in Prismas, Distress Ink, White Acrylic that I punched up to make it look like snow with uh, diamond stickles put on top. There's some silver stickles put on some of the ornaments, so it gives it a little bit different um, coloration there. Distress Ink in the background. It was a fun page. See what else we've done in this one. Ah, yes, we did and this one for a Halloween. Neo 2's in the background and done with Prisma on top of that, along with the little stickles and some acrylic paint splatters on there. I thought that turned out nice. This one here, kind of practiced a lot with Neo 2's in these books. Neo 2's, stickles, and Prismas. I love how that one turned out. I think I put a little distress ink around the corners to darken those up, but I'm not sure. It could just be all Neo 2s. This one, again, Neo 2s in here. And then the uh, acrylic paint in the matte black out here, and everything else was done with the uh, Neo 2s or Prismas, excuse me. Uh, we got some gold in there for the um, stickles. Started this one. <laughs> I haven't finished it. It's just a little froggy. Uh, but I did do all the uh, seaweed down here, so if I went back to the page, I wouldn't have to do those or figure out what colors I did them in. So I was pretty proud of that. And the other frog could be a different color, so. I can get back to that at any time. <laughs> it's all done in Prisma. And I think that's it in this one. Yeah. Okay, her next one was the jewelry box. And I'm pretty sure I did something in here. Got some really pretty pictures. Did this one here. It's an Easter page I did. Let's try to get that out. It is done with ink tents on the basket. 
distress ink on the outside and a couple of little distress inks probably put in the bunnies. Uh, Prismacolors, Posca, and Stickles. So, yeah. Tell this page didn't like the um, water on it. It wrinkled a little bit, but I don't care. I like the page. I think it turned out really pretty. Anything else in here? I mean, just gorgeous pages. I'm one of those people, if I put it on a shelf or put it someplace I can't see it, I don't go get it. Look at him. I mean, he's cute. So I have to remember to get out my books. Okay, next one is Spirit Animals. And let's see what I did in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, some really pretty pages. I did something. I know I did something. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Dragonfly. Acrylic paint in the background. Silver stickles all over this one. Um, distress ink on the inside down here. And all done in Prisma. And I have some kind of shimmer on his wings. And I don't know what that is. But it looks cool. <laughs> And I think that's it in this book. Next we have Midnight Masquerade. These uh, are the section of little books, smaller books than the bigger ones that she has put out. And yeah, I know I don't have anything in the back of that. We did this one. It's a Neo 2's background with Prisma on the inside, the pencil work. And a little acrylic splatters on top. And we also did this page here. And this one's done with the Brute Fooner pencils. And a distress ink down at the bottom. So that's all pencil up there. And a little distress ink down here. These are cute. <laughs> at least I can say I did one page in every book. <laughs> This one here is the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, kind of the Halloween one. This one took a long time to get here. And I believe I, oh my, I just love that page. The uh, one with the kitty. I have to do that. I like a lot of these. So we did this one here in the Calor colors. And I just love how he turned out. Oh, he is just adorable. I love him. So, yeah. That's all that's on there is the colored pencil. There's no distress ink. No background. No nothing. It just turned out cool. I may use that, those pencils in this whole entire book. That's the only page I did. But it's so adorable. <clears throat> okay. Next one. Oh, yeah. Here's another one I don't know the name of. It's the green cover with a little bee on it. <laughs> and I thought I did one in here. It's got to be one in here. Didn't I do one? That's nothing else. You're getting a very quick flip through of what's in here. I did. After I just told you I did one page in every book. There we go. <laughs> Our little owl here. He is done in distress ink and a little white holbein and a little tiny bit of polychromos. And I think he turned out really cool too. So the whole background and the owl himself distress ink and then a little pencil work on some of it just to uh, give it some dimension. So, yeah, I did one book. <laughs> one page in that book. Okay, the next book I saved for last um, because it has the most pictures in it. And it's Magical Dawn. 
This book I am doing under the uh, four color rule, the same pencils, same four color group pencils, I should say. And they all have stickles on them. They're all done differently, but they're all the same colors. So we will flip through this. They're all done in Prisma colored pencils in the family of blue, purple, pink, and green. Occasionally there'll be a extra color that pops in, but mostly it's all done in the same colors. And of course the stickles make every page shiny. <laughs> so we'll just flip through this book and you can see the ones I did. And if you go to my channel under Magical Dawn, you will see tutorials for all these pages. Neo background, I believe. Is it Neo? No, that's Distress Ink I did on these. There are no Neo 2s in here. It's all Distress Ink. I forgot about that. And a little white Posca for these guys. Acrylic paint splatters along with the uh, sparkles. This would be, yep, just a fine liner. When I talk a fine liner, I just grab something that's on my desk and go around in the black and use it. But the different ways you can use the same four colors. A little black, we got distress, distress ink in the background. <laughs> got one in there, yep. Clouds is just a little piece of paper cut in cloud shape and distress ink going on the outside. Little sparkles. <laughs> and I love my little bunny. So if you see black in the background, it's just matte acrylic paint that I put on first before I do the picture. The white splatters are going to be white acrylic paint that's splattered with a paintbrush on top. Bubbles I did with, um, <coughs> what do you call that thing? Do I even have it? Yeah, this thing. I just laid it down and went around with a white pencil and then colored it a uh, little pink and a little blue on each side and then put a little swoosh in there. Give it a little bubble-ish feeling. Stickles on there. Got our little bird here. These two guys. Started on him. And of course I got some black all over here so there's going to be black on both of these pages when I get to them. That gorgeous little <laughs> swan there is pretty. And we have this page. On this page, I'm going to change this up a little bit. I've taken some pencil and drawn some hair down. And I'm going to do the whole page in water. And we'll get rid of that little line across her neck. So she'll be in with the fish. Here we've got our little froggy. This page, I did this side. I painted this one and did the bird. This one, I don't think I... I don't even know if I did the background on camera. <clears throat> so this page will not be in the um, uh, <laughs> playlist because <laughs> I'm going to finish that one on my own. I'm just doing the flowers the same as on the other page, leaves the same as on the other page. And put some sparkles on it. 
Everybody else will be in there. Looking forward to doing that one too. Not much commentary when I've already <laughs> told you what I used in the book. I did her with this dress ink. She turned out really pretty. So they, they're to match. I don't know how that turned out too. These I used the same um, little tool to make these raised white dots. They're white acrylic paint. I think that turned out neat. Really <laughs> I love how this one turned out. It's just a little different from everything else. Kitty cat. I used a little stencil to make all those stars. And I put in a little planet up there. This one I actually used um, paper cutouts some dyes to add in some extra snowflakes in the uh, picture because of this page was so blank. So it kind of brought the whole page together. And I've outlined that butterfly. <laughs> And that's it. Those are all the pages that I have done from Hannah Carlson. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And again, Hannah, I'm praying for your recovery really quickly. So I will see you all in another video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.